it's it's very nice uh, to be talked on this because it's a very important subject um, uh, because the, it's not clear so far that some people are using general anesthesia for thrombectomy and uh, others are advocating to do the conscious sedation. Uh, in my setup, we have a very uh, the, we established the first stroke center, and uh, out of our uh, 25 patients, we predominantly did the uh, general anesthesia. It worked so well, but uh, f particularly for the anterior circulation, for posterior circulation, we found uh, this uh, conscious sedation remained is ideal. And, uh, but now with our small experience and with the uh, link courses we have attended and we are being uh, confidently saying, although the uh, general anesthesia is good, but patient to patient we have to decide for conscious, uh, conscious sedation and the general anesthesia. So uh, it's equally good depending upon the status of the patient or uh, so it's it's and uh, the 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 point which is in favor of conscious sedation is uh, because there is a less fluctuation of blood pressure so the people will prefer to do it because bp uh, blood pressure is a very important segment treating this uh, thrombectomy uh, guys so um, one has to think a lot and one of the important is uh, controlling the blood pressure so the journalist who is in favor of conscious sedation uh, they prefer to do it like this but m in my little experience and along with the link we learn we have to treat patient to patient according to their status their health their uh, age their sex so it vary person to person so i learned a lot from your uh, link course and uh, link is giving us a uh, hell of uh, experience, their experience, and we are able to decide accordingly.